Shino says additional drilling will start as soon as next month and the results of test into commercial visibility are expected within months. The entire process leading up to Namibia setting eyes on its first drop of oil sold will take a while to complete, she says. Discovery we have only uh, been able to locate an accumulation of uh, petroleum resources, but we still don't know uh, the volumetric in terms of uh, these resources, whether how much will it uh, flow to the surface and also in terms of whether it's of commercial value or not. So the next stage where, where we are heading is for us to be able then to do an, what we call an appraisal campaign. Uh, this is a stage where uh, with both these two companies, so Total with their joint venture partners and Shell with their joint venture partners are, uh, we are now at the appraisal uh, stage of, 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 of the field. Uh. Commercial results are expected in April next year. Uh, once we then have the result in terms of commerciality, uh, we'll then enter what we call uh, then the development phase uh, for us then to build the infrastructures that are needed. And uh, once we have the infrastructure, then you can get to a stage where you can have first oil. The oil and gas sector is expected to bring solutions to the country's high unemployment rate and visioned to create jobs, provide skills, attract investors and lift citizens out of poverty. In addition, Shino said the sector would ensure energy security, provide additional revenue and increase competitiveness in terms of investor. Challenges to consider include a disruption of the area's biodiversity and the risk of poisoning aquifers, among others. Advisory member of the Namibia Investments Promotion and Development Board, Vetumbuavi Mungunta, says Namibia has spent about $1.2 billion in developing the sector to date with little to show. The new is the fact that they have been discovered. Um, but that is after a significant amount of money had been uh, invested in the sector. What I believe is now important is for us as a country to, as a matter of agency, do an analysis of the uh, value chain downstream in particular and also the value chain linkages in the rest of the economy. Lucien Fintaka, NBC News, Venduk.